Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Jen Hillman. And in this video, I am going to guide you through some simple, gentle yoga stretches to help relieve mental and emotional anxiety. I know it's been a tough time. We've all been through a lot and anxiety is through the roof. But you can relieve that feeling of anxiety by tuning into your breath and your body. So go ahead and like this video and add it to your library of favorites because I know it's gonna be a huge help in calming your mind and bringing you back to center. And go ahead and roll out a mat, make yourself comfortable, and let's begin in a nice, easy, gentle seat. If your hips are really tight, or it's uncomfortable for you to sit on the floor, I recommend that you sit on a cushion or a folded up blanket, something that lifts your hips a little bit higher than your knees, and that's gonna help you to be a lot more comfortable and relaxed as you sit. Now we're gonna begin just by tuning in and grounding into the moment. So if it's helpful, you can close your eyes and just start to notice your breathing. You don't have to do anything to change it. You don't have to do anything different. Just tune in and allow yourself to observe the breath. Don't worry about trying to take a deeper breath or to do any special type of exercise with your breathing. Just in this moment, simply allow yourself to observe the breath. And simultaneously begin to observe the sensations that you feel in your body. Just becoming aware, noticing if there's any tightness, any stiffness or any aches or pains. But again, we're not trying to do anything differently, we're not trying to change the situation. It's simply allowing yourself to notice Bring it to your attention. And we're gonna to begin to move and if it feels good to you, you can keep your eyes closed, staying in that deep internal presence. But at any time you can open your eyes and follow along, extending your hands out to your knees. We're gonna begin with some seated cat and cow, synchronizing the movement with your breath. As you inhale, Roll your shoulders back and lift your chest, gently rolling your chin open towards the sky. And as you exhale, scoop your belly button in, curling through your spine, gently tuck your chin to your chest and round your back. So that's the movement. We wanna coordinate the movement with your breath. So everyone might be moving at a slightly different pace and that's okay. You just want to feel your body move in response to the movement of your breath. Just loosening up the spine. So you don't have to take this movement to any extreme. You don't have to push or force. Just slowly let it in and let it out, tuning into that movement. And at the end of your next exhale, we're gonna slowly come back to center. Coming back to a seat. This time, as you inhale, extend your arms up towards the sky. Nice big deep breath as you reach up. And as you exhale here, I'm gonna arch up and over to one side. So you bring one hand to the floor. Exhale as you stretch over to the side. And on your next inhale, we come all the way up through center and exhale to the other side. So again, this movement is led by the breath. Now, instead of seated cat and cow, 
Moving into this wonderful side to side body stretch, still coordinating the movement with the breath. And we really let your breath be in the driver's seat and just feel how it complements with the movement and the stretch. Just taking it side to side, nice and easy. If you notice that your thoughts begin to wander, just gently call your attention back to your breath. And we'll slowly rise back to center. Now we're going to take this movement into a twist. So again, inhale and lift up tall. Then we'll exhale and twist to one side, reaching your hand across to your knee. Exhale as you leverage into the twist. Then inhale through center. So now we're gonna take this movement into a twist. So inhale to lift up nice and tall in your spine. And as you exhale, we'll begin to move into the twist, reaching one hand across to your knee. Exhaling as you leverage into that twist. And we'll inhale through center. And exhale as you twist the other way. Nice rotation in the spine. So again, we're letting the breath lead the whole way. Just feeling your way into a twist. This is great for nourishing the digestive system. It's a wonderful detox for your body. Great for relieving pain and tension in your spine and neck. So just feel your way through the movement as you breathe. Take another moment or two to finish out your cycle. And when you're ready, make your way back to center. Let your hands relax on your lap. Let's take a deep breath in here, slow and steady, in and out, and bring the soles of your feet together. So again, you can still be sitting on a cushion or sitting up on something that lifts your hips as we work the knees out towards the sides. So you can hold on to your ankles here and similar to our seated cat and cow, we're gonna follow the breath and let yourself fold and work into the hips. So starting with the inhale, we'll lift and extend up through your chest. And as you exhale, let yourself slowly lean into the stretch, folding forward, let your head relax all the way down and your inhale brings you back up through center. Exhale to lean into the stretch, folding all the way down. And inhale to slowly unroll your spine back up. And this is the movement. So a nice deep spinal wave. Working into the hips low back, just finding a nice circular movement through the spine. We'll take a couple more rounds, moving at your own pace. And when you're ready, you can make your way back up to center. Now let's extend one leg out towards the side. Just open it up, reaching that leg out as wide as you can. Just feeling a nice gentle stretch along the inner thigh. And we're going to work into a side body stretch, reaching up and over towards those toes, taking it into a nice side body stretch. Breathe slow and deep here as you lean into this stretch, reaching out through your fingertips so the arm is a little active reaching across. 
Then on your next inhale, we'll rise, pulling yourself all the way back up. Then rotate your shoulders towards that extended foot. Lean forward, see if you can grab the foot, maybe even grabbing to the outside of the foot or ankle. Working yourself into another fold, folding down over the leg, taking it one breath at a time and just take it to your edge. It's okay if you don't stretch as far as me, as long as you feel a good stretch in your body, that's it. And we'll slowly rise yourself back up to center. This time, reach back, planting your hand to the floor. Then you're gonna roll up onto your shin, lifting your hips up towards the sky. Reach that free hand up and back as you press your hips forward, expanding through your front body as much as you can. Then slowly release your hips back down to the floor, nice and easy, taking your time. And we're gonna come back through center and move to the other side, right? So we'll bring that one heel in and extend the other leg out. Take a moment to adjust yourself in your pose, coming to a nice comfortable shape. Then we'll move into that side body stretch, reaching your arm up and over. We're reaching towards those toes, actively reaching out through your fingertips, feeling that stretch along the side of your waist, up through your ribs, even through your shoulder as you extend. Then we'll slowly rise, nice and easy, pulling yourself back up. Then reach your hand across as you rotate your shoulders towards that front leg. See if you can grab onto the foot, maybe even reaching to the outside of the leg as you work your way into that fold, little by little. It's okay if you just fold a tiny little bit. It's okay if you're getting the stretch just sitting right here. So there's no limit on where you have to be in order to get a good stretch. As long as it feels good to you, you're doing it. And we'll slowly release, coming all the way up. Now let's plant your hand down to the floor behind you, rolling up onto that shin, lift your hips up high, reaching your free hand up and back. Let's take a nice stretch, opening across the front body. Let this feel real stretchy. Open it up, it should feel pretty luxurious. And we'll slowly release, bringing your hips back down to the floor. And fold your legs in, coming back to that nice, easy seat. And let's just check back in to center. Again, just noticing your breath. Notice the sensations that you feel in your body. Notice what's different from when we first began. Just take this moment to feel a deep sense of gratitude and appreciation for yourself, for carving out this time to connect with your breath, to connect with your body, to come back to center. I am so glad that you found me here today. I'm so grateful to be a part of your healing journey. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, join my community so I can continue to support you with more and more practices to relieve your anxiety and help bring you back to center. I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.